Hi guys, and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. My name is Shannon, and every once in a while I go off course, just like when I'm fly fishing, and talk about other things that kind of blend into my life, taking care of shooting all these videos and stuff like that on the water. The good folks at Insta360 were kind enough to send me a camera this year, uh, just at the end of last year, to um, try and see how it's going to work out in the fishing and fly fishing a videography side of things. And of course, I'm the team of one for doing all three things. <laughs> and uh, so I got this camera. It was really great. You saw the unboxing. That link is down in the and the uh, information down in the uh, description. And now I've gotten to use it a little bit, although not fishing because it's winter time. We've got a couple months before we really kick in with uh, the uh, spring fishing and summer fishing here in Texas. But I've already come across a couple of quirks and been told about a few quirks. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, I call it the Insta Ace Pro, not the Insta360 Ace Pro. Um, this Insta360 company. Uh, and, but it's a really, it's a fantastic camera. And here's why I think it's, a, it's virtually a GoPro killer. The Leica lens, if you've been in the photography business as long as I have, then you can recognize a lens that has better contrast and better clarity uh, side by side. This beats I can with a naked eye, and I can see that with the Ace Pro compared to GoPro. So that is the first thing. The second thing is no overheating uh, per se. Uh, it takes hours and hours and hours to overheat and if you have a special need like that then you need to set everything up like in my previous video about stopping overheating in GoPros. It's in, that link is down in the description as well. So that's what's going on. Let me just run you down on a couple of these things that are going on and then we'll take it from there. Okay guys let's get a look at this. Now we're looking at the Insta360 Ace Pro, or what I call the Ace Pro, because it is an Ace and it is a Pro, as in GoPro No. So let's take a look at one of the quirks. One of the quirks is on the bottom, the accessory mount. If you get this accessory mount right here, and it has another little piece right over here, quarter 120, and it has a flip out uh, wings for adapt into all the GoPro mounts out there. If you get this and click it in, put it on the right way and all that, what you're going to find is that when you hook this up to a selfie stick and you're, you're not having any hands on it, it's just mounted just like this right here on the selfie stick, it's going to put an audio rattle in there. This thing has, it's really well done, really nice, but it's got a little rattle to it that the audio just zeroes in on and it goes straight into audio. It's random because you're walking or moving randomly. And so what you want to do is go back, okay? Go back to the original mount that actually comes with it. I'm going to show you a, a fix for this that I think will work in another video. Okay, here we go. This little mount that comes with it is also a little bit quirky. And I'll tell you why. You can put this mount on here, and it, you think you're in. You think you've got it, right? I'm not pushing the buttons. So here's what you got to do. This is critical, man, especially around the water. You take it, you hold it like this, and you press hard like that right there. You can, I heard a click. So you can press hard like that, and the mount, whoa, still a little loose. Okay, so be careful with this. Be very careful with this mount. I'd say press it against some hard surface. Like I heard it click that time. Now, I heard an audio audible click. It's in. So wait, press hard for an audible click, and it will be on there hard as a rock. This is a superior mounting system, but the tolerances are so tight on it that unless you really push it in with pressure, un un unusual amount of pressure um, it will not latch so that's that getting it off you got to really press those get it off next thing I want to tell you about is it's got 
it's got one of those accessories you can add on from Insta360, the kind of an L-shaped bracket. Just skip past that, in my opinion. Go ahead and get you a cage. I've got a link to a really good cage. I mean, I like it uh, for these things. And that way you can go vertical and it's got an extra shoe on it and all this other stuff that will make it much more versatile and add a layer of protection to this camera. I think it's uh, very important to protect these cameras. I don't care if it's one of these, one of these, or especially this brand new Ace Pro. Amazing, amazing camera. So that is some of the quirks right there. Let me take a look and see if there's any more. All right, I think I mentioned this earlier, but if I didn't, go ahead, do the update on it. It's got a couple of uh, added features to it, and it looks like their updates are gonna be really good and really easy to install. You just turn the camera on, link it to your phone app, the app in your phone for this camera, bada bing, bada boom, it updates quickly on this update. So do that. And remember also, and I think I might have mentioned this, you can turn this camera vertical for your, your YouTube shorts or anything that needs vertical format. Just, just, turn, just use this camera, it's so much better quality. I, I use this camera at the same resolution as my GoPros, which is 4K24. I like the uh, cinema quality of the, of the video on that and I don't need slow motion most of the time. If I do need slow motion, we'll go to 120. But, but when I'm shooting normally, making my movies for my YouTube channel, um, fly fishing movies, it's gonna be 4K24. Also, it matches what I shoot on these GoPros, except that the visual quality on this is so much better that, that uh, it's actually noticeable to the naked eye, just like I was saying. It's really an awesome camera with a Leica lens. Like is known for the glass, and the contrast in the glass is just spectacular. So there's some things about it that are quirky. They're not, they're not problems and they're not issues. It's just some quirks um, that will uh, definitely, uh, you know, take a little more money and a little more time, but it's not nearly as rough of a start as it is with a brand new uh, GoPro and all the problems you have with battery overheat and all that stuff. Now also in the future, besides the solution to this metal mount, I really dig these mounts because it's, it's really quick, it's metal, really high quality metal, so I really want this thing to work. Um, you know, like I said, it's got the fold out little wings right here that are really cool. It just kind of, they, they're magnetic, they're metal so that the magnets in there pull it back down. Really great stuff, great, great thinking. The other thing you're going to want to invest in, okay, this is a quirk, and it's a deep one. This is, this is really a hard one. You're going to want to invest in a set of these close-up macro uh, Vivitar filters because, and I'll show you and hopefully I'll have a couple of these made up pretty soon, um, this camera doesn't focus very close. Like my Z9 right there, it's about, it's about five feet away. That's the actual focusing distance at nearest distance for this lens, this Leica lens. Do you think that's a problem? It's a problem. So what, what I've seen is these, uh, these adapters that are made, uh, that fit on this, that'll hold a 52 millimeter uh, close-up lenses and everything in, in the near area, the near focus will be good. Of course, what that does is bokeh out the, the background. So, you know, if you like bokeh or bokeh, um, you're gonna get some uh, with that add-on and we'll show you how the, that all works in a future video. Thanks for watching guys. Man, it's taking me a long time to get this out. I'm super uncomfortable in my setting in here in my uh, so-called studio. And that's why it's taking so long. I usually shoot outside on my bar, but the weather sucked for a number of days now. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Remember to uh, check out this camera and start getting ready for the spring and summer fishing and fly fishing season. Insta Ace Pro. Great camera, people. This is a great start right here. If you haven't, if you don't have an action camera for fishing, skip. <laughs> I'm so deeply invested in GoPros. If you don't have all that, start here.